What's up everyone, Michael from 2FAS here and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up two-factor authentication for Mega. Click on your profile picture and go to settings. On the left side look for the security tab and then for a toggle button near two-factor authentication. Now you need to scan this QR code with your authenticator app. For this example I'm gonna use 2FAS which is a mobile authenticator available for both Android and iOS devices. Click the red plus button and point your camera to the QR code. Once you do that you will see this six digit verification code. Here click next and type in the code. It is gonna be 943995 and click next. Alright as you can see 2FA was successfully enabled. Now click next one more time and here click save file. We're gonna need it for later. Now with this enabled, no one without the six digit verification code can access your account, which is perfect, right? Well, except if you lose your phone, what then? Don't worry, 2FAS has a built-in backup system. Just click on settings, 2FAS backup, and make sure to enable Google Drive or iCloud synchronization. As you can see on iOS, it looks pretty much the same. But there's more to backup. As you probably know, Mega is using end-to-end -end encryption, which basically means that all your files are encrypted and only you have access to it. Even they can't see what you have on your drive. In the process of encryption, your password is used to generate what's called a master key. And this master key is essential to access the files. So basically, if you don't have your password, you don't have your files. And the key we just downloaded is the only way to recover your account in case you lose the password. Obviously this recover key is extremely sensitive and you should never store it on your computer. So take a pen, write it down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere safe. Okay, now let me show you how to actually use this key in the recovery process. Once on the login screen, click forgot your password. Now type in your email right here and click start. Alright, now they ask us if we have the recovery key, let's say yes. And click send here one more time. Great, now let's go check out the inbox. You should see this email from Mega pretty much immediately. Click the red button and it will direct you to the page where you have to type in your recovery key. Once you do that, click verify and as you can see, we can now set up a new password. Just as a reminder, a strong password is long, unique and random. At least 12 characters with a mix of letters, number and symbols. Avoid common words and if possible, use a password manager. As you can see, our password has been successfully reset and we can now log back into our account. Okay, let me test that. And as you can see, everything works. Thanks for watching till the end. If you have any questions, make sure to join our Discord server, link in the description, you can ask them there, or in the comment section under this video. Subscribe and see you in the next tutorials.